Hello everyone, my name is Olivia and today I want to talk about my top 5 favorite audiobooks that I read in 2020. These are not necessarily audiobooks that came out in 2020, these are simply audiobooks that I picked up during 2020 and I greatly enjoyed them and I want to share them with you in case you were looking for audiobooks to read. The first one that I want to talk about is actually a book that came out in 2020 and it is Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo and this is a dual narration audiobook. So we have Elizabeth Acevedo herself narrating the audiobook and then we also have Melania Luisa Mate who is narrating the other point of view in this YA novel. This novel follows two girls whose lives are completely altered and changed after tragedy strikes and their father dies and they find out that they are half-sisters living in completely different countries and they have never heard of each other before. So we have Camino who lives in the Dominican Republic and her father always visits her during the summer and we have Yahaira who lives in New York City and her father always leaves New York City to go to the Dominican Republic in the summer. So one summer he goes to the Dominican Republic and that plane crashes and every single person on board does not survive. So we follow Camino and we follow Yahaira as they are grieving their father and they are slowly coming to terms with the fact that their father held a lot of secrets close to his heart that they did not know about. So we follow these two sisters while they live completely different lives, one living in the Dominican Republic and one living in New York City and we see the different ways that they are brought up and the different strifes that they have to deal with. Elizabeth Acevedo is very talented in bringing her stories to life, especially her stories that are told in verse because obviously she knows the rhythm and the way that the words are supposed to be delivered. And Melania also does a great job at bringing the story to life as well. I really enjoyed hearing their contrasting narrations to contrast Yehaira and to contrast Camino's point of views. And I feel like the book is so much more powerful listening to it on audiobook because you feel the emotion and you feel the rhythm of this novel told in verse through this narration but Clap When You Land really spoke to me and really impacted me through their voices and through the way that they delivered this story. It is so quick to read and it just pack so much emotion in such a short amount of time and I really enjoyed the story I had to tell and it really sticks with me and I think about it a lot. Another audiobook that I greatly enjoyed that has a full cast is Red at the Bone by Jacqueline Woodson. This follows two families who converge after an unexpected pregnancy happens and they are forced to merge to create a better life for this baby. So the book begins with that baby Melody when she is 16 years old and her parents and her grandparents are celebrating this very momentous event in her life where she is slowly becoming an adult. So this novel takes us on a journey through this entire family's past and their present and the different events that they had to go through to get to this specific moment to get to Melody's 16th birthday party. So we follow Melody's parents as they meet and as they date and eventually find out that they are pregnant with Melody. We follow Melody's grandparents parents as they go through very strenuous moments in their past and how they help raise Melody into the girl that she is today. This novel talks a lot about gentrification, it talks a lot about racism, it talks a lot about family and how each person really influences the other as they are growing up and growing older. This novel is a great exploration of the complexities of a family, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and I feel like with the full cast audiobook you really dig deep into these different family members lives through their narration and it brings forth so many emotions and it's really heartbreaking to listen to because there is so much passion packed into these narrators Voices. While this story is also very short, it's a very quick audiobook to read, it packs so much within its short amount of time and I feel like you really get to know this family in a very intimate way. Jacqueline Woodson is talented in bringing the story to life and making you feel very connected to these characters. It was emotional, it was heartbreaking, it was eye-opening and I highly recommend it if you're looking for a literary fiction audiobook to read and it also has a full cast so you feel like you're listening to a drama radio show in your mind. Another audiobook that is narrated by the author that just blew me away 
and left me in awe of it was Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. This is narrated by Jason Reynolds and is a, another novel that is told in verse. And what's interesting about this novel is that it takes place over the course of 60 seconds. So this novel follows Will, whose brother Sean was just shot and killed. So Will takes it upon himself to get revenge and go after Sean's killer. And as Will is traveling down this elevator, every single floor that the elevator passes opens to reveal a person from Will's past who has come to talk to him to kind of talk him out of the revenge that he is trying to go forth and do. This audiobook is so well done because like I said before with Elizabeth Acevedo, Jason Reynolds narrates his own audiobook so he knows the rhythm and the delivery that is needed for his own poems that he wrote for this novel. He talks in such a rhythmic way that is so soothing to listen to but also incredibly haunting because this talks a lot about racism and gun violence and a bunch of other serious topics. So Jason Reynolds just masterfully narrates his story and really brings it to life. Life. The poems in this audiobook are haunting and so well delivered. If you're looking for another short audiobook to read, I would highly recommend this. I read it in a one sitting while I was coloring in a coloring book and it was just so gripping. Then we have one of my favorite books of 2020 that I listened to on audiobook and it is Queenie by Candace Cardi Williams and this is narrated by Shaverne Marks. And this book follows Queenie after a very serious breakup with a boyfriend that she thought she would eventually marry. So her world is kind of turned upside down and she doesn't know what to do with her life because all her plans that she had set forth with this man has now crumbled and fallen apart. So we follow Queenie as she is dealing with this breakup in a very unhealthy way. She is self-sabotaging and she is not seeing her worth while she is also dealing with mental illnesses. She's dealing with microaggressions in and out of her workplace and she is slowly dealing with really reconnecting with her family that she had fallen apart from for many years. This audiobook is wonderful because the narrator Siobhan just really brings this story to life in a very casual way. I love the way that she narrates this book because this book is written in a very casual way as if Queenie is a friend telling you about her life and she's not afraid to tell you about both the good and bad parts of her life. She's a very conversational type of narrator and Siobhan really brings that to life life through her narration and that's why I couldn't stop listening to Queenie because of Siobhan's ability to bring this story to life. The best way that I can pitch this story is by saying that it is a very dark comedy dealing with very serious undertones about a woman's life in a very raw and realistic way. This is one of the most realistic portrayals of a woman that I have ever seen because it deals with mental illnesses, it deals with her sex life, it deals with the microaggressions that she has to deal with at work and outside of the workplace. It deals with friendships that she kind of sabotages and it treats very badly because she's in a bad place. So this is just a very raw look at a woman's life when she is at her lowest and I feel like we've all been there at some point where we kind of self-sabotage and we treat the people that we love very cruelly because we are lashing out and that's Queenie. But we also get to see her incredible character development as she is growing and learning and bettering herself with her mental health, with her relationships, and it's just such a great character study and I cannot recommend it enough. Like Queenie is just a perfectly imperfect character and I think that's what I love the most about her. She's not a perfect person and she has to learn from that. And I feel like through this book you journey with Queenie as she does try to better herself. So if you're a fan of Fleabag, if you're a fan of character studies, if you're a fan of a very raw and realistic and really dark portrayal of a woman at her lowest point in life, you would absolutely love Queenie. It's one of my favorite books of 2020. It just really stuck with me and made me feel seen in ways that I have never felt seen before. And I just really appreciate the story it had to tell and how Candace Cardi Williams delivered that in a very casual way that impacts you greatly. The last book that I read on audiobook that I absolutely adored and cannot stop recommending on different videos is The Traveling Cat Chronicles. This is written by Hiro Arigawa. It's translated by Philip Gabriel and it is narrated by George 
Blagden. The Traveling Cat Chronicles is a book that I picked up on a whim on audiobook because Raylene over on the Books Unbound podcast spoke about it and how it is such a wonderful book that you should definitely listen to on audiobook. So I decided to pick it up one day when I was looking for an audiobook to read. And it is a novel following a man named Saturo as he is trying to find a new owner for his cat, Nena. And what's cool about the story is that it is not narrated by Saturo, the owner, but it is narrated by the cat, Nena. So Nena is a cat that Saturo found and they became best friends and we are following Nena as he is traveling with his owner Saturo across Japan to different people that Saturo knew in his past and we follow Nena as he is very confused as to why his precious owner is trying to get rid of him. So we follow Nena as he is somewhat sabotaging each visit to someone else's house across Japan because he really wants to stay with his owner. And what's cute about this novel is that we get an insight into the mind of a cat. We get to learn about his likes, his dislikes, his different mannerisms, and the way that he loves his owner, Saturo, and how they have created a very big bond with each other. What makes this audiobook so cute is George Blagden's voice for Nena. The way that he talks in a very monotone, very posh way for the cat Nena makes it seem like Nena is a very high-class cat who knows what he wants, who knows that he wants to stay with his owner and he will do everything in his power to stay by Saturo's side. If you are looking for a book that is told from a very unique perspective, which is a cat, and if you're looking for a cute audiobook that is narrated in a very heartwarming way that you just don't want to stop listening to, The Traveling Cat Chronicles is the book for you. But let it be known, it's not a completely cutesy novel. There are some very serious moments that do like tug at your heartstrings and it really made me fall in love with the novel even more and I just really enjoyed the Traveling Cat Chronicles because of George Blagden's narration. It was a very unique narration style that I greatly enjoyed and I think that other audiobook lovers would also really enjoy this book because it's told in a very unique way and through the narration it makes the story feel that much more enjoyable and fun to listen to. So those are my top five audiobooks of 2020. Again, these are not all audiobooks that came out in 2020 but are simply audiobooks that I picked up in 2020. Let me know what your favorite audiobooks of 2020 were and let me know if you have some very unique audiobooks to recommend like The Traveling Cat Chronicles which is narrated by a cat. So if you have any of those recommendations be sure to put them down below so I can see them and others can see them as well. Be sure to subscribe if you have not done so already and if you have not followed me on Instagram as well be sure to follow me there because I do update my audiobooks and what I am currently listening to on my story. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!